Hey guys, it's Anthony Scott, ToyHypeUSA.com. I'm here with George Gasper of October Toys. George, how are you today? I'm doing all right. A little under the weather, so my voice may be a little weird, but other than that, I'm okay. Oh boy, you said you had a cold, so you'll have to forgive me if I talk to you from back over here. Yeah, it's too late. You're probably already sick. You're this close to me, you got it now. I just told George I woke up with a sore throat this morning, so it's definitely on his fault. Yeah, I, I'll take so, the full responsibility for I'm that. I'm blaming you for that. <laughs> So how are you today? Uh, good. It's uh, it's Sunday of PowerCon yeah. and, uh, in wonderful, beautiful Torrance, California. Uh, it's foggy this weekend, Torrance, it, California. Yeah, it was foggy. But... Uh, but yeah, but I'm inside all day, so I don't care. But uh, yeah, it's great. We had, I've been having a great time all weekend. Like... There was actually a little pollution outside too. You can see the brown. That's just in the California. Sky. That's yeah. just LA. That's Los Angeles. <laughs> That's normal. But it's my first time out to LA. If you so. can't see the air, how do you know you're breathing it? Yeah, well that's, that's true. How, that's what we say out here. Yeah, well, that's true. I stole you that know? line from an old boss of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's the show treating you so far? Uh, it's been great. We, uh, we're just releasing uh, a, bra a brand new Jade Skeleton. Let's see, that's mm. this guy here. So it's our part of our Titan Skeleton line that, that we started back when we did uh, Baron Dark and these Skeleton Warriors figures. Yes. Um, which are, we're almost out of these, so if you're looking for a Baron Dark, wow. jump online at OctoberToys.com and get one soon, because we're almost done. It's 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. It's not bad. Pick him up on a show, you don't pay shipping. Take a look at this. 20 bucks for this awesome figure, guys. He stands about five inches tall, fully glass compatible, which means it, uh, it pops apart in all the in all the right spots, arms, legs, all the way down. And you can mix and match all the parts with all the figures. And uh, so we just released for PowerCon the Jade Skeleton, which is the kind of translucent, uh, semi-translucent green with like a little bit of white kind of mixed in and uh, he'll be available on our website um, probably the 15th of June. Okay. Um, so the only way to get it right now is to be here at PowerCon, which you've already missed if you're watching this. So tough luck. Wait yeah. for the 15th. All right. <laughs> so he's basically just a repaint of uh, these other ones that you guys have done. Yeah, he's a, he's a new colorway. Uh, the Kickstarter, we did the Bone Titan and the, uh, I think we did a Bone, a Glow in the Dark, and a, uh, a painted washed type. And then and there was, was the, blue one the Light too. Star Crystal Blue, yeah. which tied in with the Skeleton Warriors version. And, and there was uh, another blue one that was exclusive. That was the Light Star Crystal one. That was the Light Star yeah. Crystal one. Okay. Um, I don't know, has there been another color? One was our light translucent blue. Yeah, that's the light star crystal one. Okay, but then there was a darker blue. Was there? Yeah. I'm terrible. There was a darker blue. I think I don't it was remember an everything. exclusive to something. I just can't remember it all. The top oh, of my I know head. which one you're talking. Yes, that yeah. was the O'Neill, the O'Neill exclusive. Yes, that's yes. it. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah, that was the like with the wash on it and everything. Yeah, yes. that was pretty cool. That was that's awesome. why I didn't remember because I didn't sell it. That was uh, Matt. Okay. That was Matt at O'Neill Designs uh, exclusive color. And uh, so yeah, the next this has been the first the Jade Skeleton is the first release since that one. Yeah. Um, it's been a little while. We've been uh, we've been a little busy behind the scenes doing some other like doing some other prep work and doing our day jobs and things like that. So sometimes when the when the paying gigs come in, the fun gigs get pushed back a little bit. Yeah. So uh, that's all that's happening with that right now. And, uh, we will be we will be continuing forward with it though. Okay. What a lot of people are wondering, where are skeleton works? Uh, I mean, it's it, it, again, it's the prep work. It's the yeah. That's the that's the job that doesn't pay any money, but it's a lot of fun to make. Yeah. So we, it kind of has to get pushed to the back a little bit when the actual gigs come in. Right. So it's 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 on my desk. I, I have it. That's good. It'll it'll eventually be out there. Um, it's just a little bit of prep work to get it. You know, because you know we had the, the Grim Skull campaign that didn't work 100. percent So you know that doesn't move forward until it goes to 100. Yeah. percent So uh, we're retooling things uh, in the background and. Uh, reconfiguring the campaign to, to okay. make it a success on the next one when we launch it. Now, yesterday you mentioned that uh, you're looking at one option. You said was army builders, yeah, warriors, yeah, army builders. Uh, well, that was, yeah, that was one of the perks of the uh, initial campaign with Iron Guard mm -hmm. was the skeleton, um, and it's a little bit it's a little bit easier to buy into I need a couple skeletons to fight my guys. Yes. Whereas when a main character comes around, you don't, you don't necessarily need more than one Baron Dark. You know, he's, he's he's one guy on the show, whereas the skeleton army you can have a ton of. 
So that's the same thing with Grim Skull, where like you don't really need more than one Grim Skull. And we didn't have anything that was really like a an army builder type piece to the campaign. So everybody that was there that loved Fair and Dark came back and they wanted their Grim Skull, but really only did one of them. Now there were two skeletons uh, in Baron Dark's Kickstarter yes. that had armor and I think a cape and a helmet. Yes. And they were uh, guards or soldiers. Yeah, guard, they guard had more soldier. deco compared to this guy. Yes. Where he's just plain bone. And that could be your army builder. Right? Exactly, yeah. That's that's something that we will like those since those guys all that sculpting is done, we know how much it's gonna cost to produce that. Like that's all part of the thing that we can bring into the next campaign. Um, along with a few other a few other tweaks that we're working on right now. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah. You know. um, yeah, I love those characters. I'd really love to see those made. Um, I want them on everyone's desk, not just mine. I would too. You know, I'm trying to buy the vintage toys, but they're a little expensive. So you can and find some of them. You can find some of them on eBay. I've seen some at comic shops for like between six and ten bucks in the package. Yeah, not mine. It doesn't really? uh, carry vintage toys. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. It just Check. keeps the new stuff. Sometimes eBay you'll be able to find them. Okay. Um, I've I've seen them out there. They're not as hard to get, um, especially if you're going to open them and have them open. Yeah. But I've seen some that were open for the same price as some still in the box. Oh wow. So it, just do a little hunting, and you should be able to find them. Pretty yeah. Easy. But this Baron Dark, because I've seen the uh, the vintage one, is definitely better than the old one. I well, I hope so. I would. I, I mean, articulated. There's, yeah, there's a lot more articulation. That was yeah. one of the things that we really wanted to bring to the line was the fact that on the TV show, these skeletons, like, part of the feature was they would, when they get shot, they fall apart in a million pieces. Right. And the old toy, it was it was literally just like, you know, everything was static and it was like the basic, like, five points of articulation. So it was, it was something that was always kind of lacking in those old toys. While the detail was amazing and it looked cool, they didn't really move, and no. it was like there was no point in like what's the point of the skeleton if it barely moves. And that's what's so great about this guy. He breaks apart in what like forty different places. Oh my god, I don't even Something know. Like yeah, that? like you, yeah. Can, you can literally pop them apart on it. Yeah, like, just like little pieces in your hand. Have a, have a pile of bones in your hand by the time you're done. Yeah, like you know you can you can really break it down. Yeah. So it's uh it makes it a little more fun to play with, and it's a little more uh, you know, it's a little more realistic realistic compared yeah. to like you know you yeah. play with a pile of bones by the time More, you're done. Uh, show accurate. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this we, was um, what was it, San Diego? Uh, the, you guys started selling this one? I think we started the Titan Wash, yeah the wash in, in San Diego I believe. Um, and we'll be we'll be back in San Diego this year. Um, in that same back corner that we're always in, I think it moved down one row. Like they keep pushing us back a little further and further into the corner all the time. Um, as as the designer toy scene realizes that designer con is a cooler convention to go to, like yeah. they they jump ship from Comic Con and they where they realize that you can actually talk to your fans at designer con. Where at Comic Con, like most of your fans can't even get in because yeah, they can't Comic Con is just nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's so, all Hollywood now, you yeah. know, and that just that, that just killed it. It's a lot harder for the little guys who are who are doing yeah. this stuff independently to to build a fan base or to meet the fans who, who want to see them. So you have to go to little shows like Power Con or designer con and things like that um, even like I hear C2E2 is like that where it's a little bit more uh, a little easier to talk to the people I've never been to that show yet but hopefully I like to make it out to that one yeah that sounds too. like a great show I was talking to Zach Holt with Diamond Select Toys about yeah. it and it sounds like a really nice show. Yeah, it seems, and it's you know Chicago, so it's central, yeah. so everybody can get there from all over, right? Like, yeah. A little easier. I don't know. I'll get there one day. Yeah, I'll, you know that's why I would say I'll get there one day too. <laughs> well, this is George Gaspar. I'm Anthony Scott, Toy Hype USA. Thanks for watching, and click on our subscribe button. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you.